MSU board president says allegations against him calling for his ouster are fabricated. Misrepresented Rima Vassar, the first black woman elected to chair Michigan State University's Board of Governors called for resignation, fired back Monday night, saying the allegations made by trustee Brianna Scott and two of her supporters were fabrication. Misrepresentation. Insinuation insinuation. Lies. At time when we have a responsibility to show leadership in the presidential search. With our title X roles responsibilities. The search for head football coach. And litigation both pending impending. Three board members are focused on something I can only guess at. This letter and the false accusations underlying it distract from the important work we need to do. More MSU begins reviewing allegations against board president. Whitmer doesn't see united leadership, in short. There is no basis for any of the allegations in Trustee Scott's letter, Vassar said. The dysfunction on the MSU Board of Trustees dates back well before my tenure as a board member. And as the first African-American woman elected to chair this board, instead of showing unity and a steady hand during a difficult time, it is very disappointing. The three members of our MSU Board of Trustees for our university are more focused on undermining me rather than working together to do the job we were elected or appointed to do. On Sunday, Scott sent a letter to the board outlining 10 reasons why Vassar should resign or be removed as chairman. She was suggesting tyranny and overstepping her authority. She said if he doesn't resign, Governor Gretchen Whitmer should fire him. Whitmer appeared to call for the review in a statement Monday morning, saying the allegations made by Scott were extremely concerning. Late Monday, MSU Board Vice Chair Dan Kelly, who chairs the Board of Trustees Audit, Risk and Compliance Committee, released a statement saying Scott's allegations had triggered an investigation by the university's Office of Audit. Risk and compliance. Among the reasons Scott says Vassar should resign is that a board member refused to allow Vassar's phone to be examined as part of an investigation into allegations that it leaked the identity of activist Brenda Tracy, a rape survivor who accused former MSU football coach Mel the Tucker of sexual harassment. Additionally, Vassar was accused traveling with Tucker twice on a donor's private jet for university business. Poses with former MSU trustee Brian Mosalem in an ad for his business. Spartan Wealth Management. Congratulating him on being elected president. And allegedly attempting to negotiate a settlement of a lawsuit filed against the university by former business school dean Sanjay Gupta without the permission interim president Teresa Woodruff or board members. Vassar's statement addressed many of the issues Scott outlined in his seven-page letter. Between them Vassar has denied leaking the identity of Brenda Track.